Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Imprint Knowledge Solutions. Uh, we're looking at the first various makers of India. That is, uh, in this series, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about uh, various uh, leaders like Raja Ram, Ram Mohan Roy is first of them, then Jyoti Bai Phule, we'll talk about uh, Mahatma Gandhi, we'll talk about the others uh, like uh, Kamla Devi, Chota Padhyay, uh, P.R. Ambedkar, Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, Savarkar, right? So what we're trying to do in this series is that uh, we're looking at how modern India came into its shape, right? And then we'll start a series on uh, history that is modern India itself. So uh, let's uh, further ado, let's talk about the first one that is Raja Ram Mohan Roy. And he's known, uh, known as the father of Indian Renaissance. Raja Ram Mohan Roy Konte. So ek Bhartiya Samajik Siksha Sudharak the, jine Adunik Bharat ke Nirmata or Adunik Bharat ke Pita. So maker of modern India and father of modern India, both, right? That is what Raja Ram Mohan Roy is known for. And he is also known as uh, the father of the Bengali re re uh, Renaissance, right? So obviously, remember the Renaissance in world history. So this is uh, the Bengal Pun Jagaran Ke Pita. Ke naam se bhi jana jata. Uh, so this is a book, right? Uh, the, a few of the material which we are actually uh, going through is this book by makers, uh, by Ram Chandra Guha, that is Makers of Modern India, right? And uh, there's a quote, it says that uh, Prata Ram Mohan Roy, uh, when he talks about Hindu religion, he says the superstitious practices which reform the Hindu religion have nothing to do with the pure spirit it dictates. Right, so वो कह रहे हैं कि जो Hindu religion में जो superstition practices हैं, ठीक है ना? Right, जो अंधविश्वास है, उसका कोई relation नहीं है, right? So जो इतने भी अंधविश्वास हैं, जिसके कारण लोग काफी अजीब-अजीब चीजें करते हैं, तो वो उसकी pure spirit के against है, right? What is the pure spirit of Hindu religion? Detachment, ठीक है ना? दान, पुण्य, gratitude, right? Karuna. So karuna dharm ka artha hota hai, vaise toh. But uh, now superstition mein fear, basically. So fear dharm ka artha ban chuka hai, dar dharm ka artha ban chuka hai. Which is also, if you think about when you compare the Hindu religion with others, what is what differentiates Hindu religion from others? So what differentiates Hindu religion from others, uh, if you think about it, it's basically karuna, compassion. On the other hand, other religions are fear-based. Dar ke religion hai, right? right? If you do, don't do this, what this will happen to you. You'll go to hell. Right, those kind of things. Okay, the Hindu religion is much more diverse in that sense. Uh, so, uh, let's talk about Raja Ram Mohan Roy. So, on 22nd of May, uh, the world uh, celebrated his 242nd birthday last year. Uh, he's the father of Indian Renaissance, the founder of Brahmo Samaj, the man who tirelessly fought against the social evils prevailing in the Indian society. So, the question is, आप राजा राम मोहन रॉय ने सोशल इवेंट्स के अगेंस्ट क्यों लड़ाई लड़ी? तो हुआ ये कि जब भारत वाज कैप्चर्ड, राइट वाज एक अंग्रेजों का गुलाम बनाया गया, तो अब इंटेलेक्चुअल्स ने सोचना स्टार्ट किया कि क्या रीजन है? व्हाट इस द रीजन कि अंग्रेजों का गुलाम बन गया? दे वर नॉट इवन 50,000 taken away in case India really needs, uh, becomes independent. Or they also thought that India independent ban bhi gaya to koi fayda nahi honne wala because of these social evils. So, um, Roy, uh, Raja Ramon Roy was born in a Brahmin family, right, in the village of Radha Nagar near Krishnagar in Hooghly district, uh, Bengal presidency. His father, Rama Kanta, was a Vaishnavite and uh, Tarani Devi was a Shivite, right. Uh, they were moderately Prosperous uh, landowners, uh, they had served under the Mughals as a revenue official, so obviously well off, right? Patwadi, Tasilar type, you can imagine them to be. So, uh, Ramohan was married twice, even before he entered his teens. Uh, it was customary, right? Uh, because child marriage and polygamy were both very common in the uh, upper caste Hindus at that time. Uh, what happened was uh, that he became an uh, intellectual. He learned Persian, Bengali, Sanskrit, right, during his childhood. Then he masters uh, the in-depth knowledge in Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Buddhism, etc. Right. He was also influenced by Western culture and education system. When you're born in the Hindu family, you are actually a Hindu by faith. So, you know, what he did was he mastered the Vedas, right? 
and Upanishads. Uh, he also had, you know, influence of Islam and uh, Christianity. Remember, he wrote a book on uh, Christianity, knows the precepts of Jesus. It, he actually criticized the ritualism of Christianity in it and rejected Christ as the incarnation of God. Uh, he all, but on the other hand, he always wanted to uh, renovate Hinduism. He opposed the idol worship and ritualism that existed in Hinduism. He published his first book, uh, the. Tufat ul Muwahideen, uh, right? Uh, which, which he argues for monotheism. That is the concept of a single god. Now, Roy himself believed that one is God and one is one God, one is Bhagwan, right? Omnipresent, right? So basically, that is the idea. And he is only the proper person, a proper object of veneration. And he's un, uh, he's one and undivided person. So he says that. This was what it was written in the Vedas, and this was in the Bible as a Quran. So he tried to in integrate all three of them and tried to say that okay, they're together. Uh, he supported the Western concept of reasoning and scientific thought and applied it to the Indian context. He fought against the orthodox Hindus and fanatic uh, Christian missionaries who never agreed to his beliefs. In time, what happened was uh, there was a lot of arguments with uh, Hindu Brahmins, Hindu Pandits, upper caste Hindus, right? At the same time with the missionaries. So he decided that he is not willing to accept these claims, right? He was disenchanted by what he saw. His own uh, elder brother died, right? And what happened was the wife was forced to commit sati to Ra Ram Mohan's dismay. And here he made up his mind he has to do something about it, right? But obviously it took a lot of time before he could do something. Uh, after he finished his studies, uh, Ram Rondo and East India Company ke saath hi kaam kiya, kaafi jaga kaam kiya Bengal mein, fir Calcutta mein settle ho gaya 1815 mein. Iske pehle hi wo kitabe publish kar chuke the, right? Uh, obviously he wrote his first book, we talked about that in Persian with a preface in uh, Arabic. And this was an attack on idol worship. Okay. Uh, when Calcutta came, so literary and social work was obviously more interest. Aa gaya. He translated the Upanishads from Sanskrit to Bengali. He published a tract in English against Sati. He debated the orthodox scholars of on the rights of Hindu women. So he said that you know whatever you know people say about women are totally wrong, right? Uh, right. When if they say women are promiscuous, he said that you know I know so so many Brahmins who have taken 10, 15 wives, and as soon as a person becomes rich, he takes more wives. Right. So you know, if you talk about promiscuity, a man has 10 times more than a uh, you know, female. Uh, when you talk about the, uh, their lack of ability to you know, uh, take decisions, he says, if you don't educate, you don't learn, you don't learn decision making, then how can you take decisions? So uh, he basically picked up all the perceived you know, weaknesses of females and uh, tried to shut them down. Right. Uh, he contested the claims of Christian missionaries also. He said, uh, who said that, you know, uh, they were superior. Uh, Atmiya Sabha, you know, a friendship association start Keithi on 15, 1815 May. And he searched for elements common to various religious traditions. So very interesting, I would say, uh, syncretism, uh, right? Because remember, India is a very diverse society. So his voice, his voice is heard by all sections when he does this. Uh, now. As I said, they were abused by orthodox uh, Hindus. They were derided as sinful atheists, moderns blinded by passions. Uh, European Christians also didn't like him. Uh, they complained that he opposed conversion and his admiration for Jesus did not extend to his acknowledging his divinity. Right. So 1816, May. Uh, Ram Mohan Roy ne ek school bhi khola, right? Uh, Lord Macaulay ke saath, uh, right? Hindu College and Vedanta College in Calcutta were a result of this. 1821 mein weekly newspaper start kiya, the first in any other such language. Ek unho ne Sambat comedy start kiya, 1821 mein, and ek Persian newspaper, Miratul Akbar. Sara wo khudi likhte the, pura newspaper is. So in 1828, he founded the Brahmo Samaj, uh, the Society of God, and it preached the worship of one God. And the basis of what it found to claim were the original teaching of the Vedas. Now, finally, there was something with something which you all Raja, remember Raja Roman Roy for. He's, uh, he basically, when the practice of sati was legally abolished, 1829, we all, everybody gives uh, you know credit to William Benedict. There's a question you'll find uh, under whose tenure was uh, the practice sati abolished, uh, right? So we always say William Benedict. But uh, English women. A uh, woman actually acknowledged that without the aid of the great Hindu philosopher Ram Mohan Roy, uh, that could have never happened. And what Ram Mohan Roy did was he demonstrated that Sati was not 
sanctioned uh, duty uh, upheld by the hindu scriptural tradition right so it's not there in the vedas and stuff upanishads uh, what about his writings uh, what was the impact of there so his ideas were promulgated to his bengali newspaper right as we know sambad comedy in the moon of intelligence so the historian af salahuddin ahmed quotes two remarkable testimonies uh, to his paper's influence so in 1921 the calcutta journal a periodical of and for the british in india wrote for roy's newspaper that she will be the means of moral and intellectual renovation of india Nine years later, London uh, magazine described uh, Samad Comedy as the morning chronicle of India, uh, advocating freedom, religious and uh, civil rights, opposition to corruption, tyranny, labouring, and it said that we are happy, uh, right, to say that uh, this can eradicate the idolatrous rights of the Brahmins, awaken the Hindus to the sense of degradation and misery they have been plunged into. Uh, what about his internal outlook? So, notably, Raja Ramon Roy was also interested in other. areas right international affairs so he welcomed the movements uh, that uh, delivered the countries of south africa from spanish colonial rule right within the Sp- uh, span spain he uh, supported the liberal opposition to an autocratic monarchy he championed the emancipation of catholics within the united kingdom uh, right uh, this in- internationalist orientation set him apart from the moralist and thinkers of the past right c a bailey uh, basically said that uh, roy was the first indian to represent the growth of freedom in india and was an essential part of the wider transnational quest of humanity uh, for self realization so what basically so he was not parochial matlab ye baat hai wo apne sirf desh ke bare mein nahi sochte the wo humanity ke bare mein sochte the right he actually gave a modern outlook to india right parochial nahi the ye nahi tha ki you know hum sirf apne bare mein sochenge sirf in india first and all that right तो ये नहीं था उनका आउटलुक इनका आउटलुक था कि वैल्यू सिस्टम सही होना चाहिए थॉट प्रोसेस सही होना चाहिए राइट नाउ हाउ डिड राम मोहन रॉय अचीव द टाइटल ऑफ राजा सो व्हाट हैपेंड वाज इन 1830 राम मोहन रॉय वाज सेंट टू द नाउ मच वीकेंड मुगल बाय द नाउ मच वीकेंड मुगल एम्पायर टू इंग्लैंड सो टू पिटीशन द किंग टू इंक्रीज द अलाउंस एंड पर रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो Uh, Roy spent two years in England, uh, right? And in London, he met with officials of the East India Company, lobbied with the members of Parliament, was granted an audience with the King, wrote, published books on Indian economics and law. He changed, uh, exchanged views with the British utilitarians and socialists. He travelled to, pa- uh, you know, Paris, uh, right? So what basically, if you think about his two years in England, uh, Sophia Dobson called it that he was the interpreter. of india so bharat ke bare mein angrezon ko kisne bataya raja ram mohan roy ne aur angrezon uh, ke bare mein uh, bharat ko kisne bataya to basically raja ram mohan roy so basically he was the interpreter of india to england and england to india right uh, he also was in england when the reform bill was passed in 1831 which granted franchise to a greater number of british men and after many months of patient lobbying ramon was roy was able to persuade the british government to increase the stipend of the mughal emperor by 30000 pounds a year right but uh, sadly he never saw uh, the emperor again or the native bengal uh, right he visited his friends in bristol he took ill and died on 22nd of 27th of september 1833 he was buried there right and uh, with a tombstone right which was amazing right um, which uh, in the next uh, page we have uh what happened to brahma samaj after this uh, dwarka natego actually ran it for some time so what was the tombstone inscription it says his unwearied labors so bina thake hue jo wo kaam karte rahe to promote the social moral and physical condition so samajik jo arthavyavastha hai right condition hai logon ki bharat ke unke liye jo unhone kaam kiya wo kabhi ruka nahi right his earnest endeavor to suppress idolatry matlab jo आइडल वर्शिप है मूर्ति पूजन उसके अगेंस्ट जो उन्होंने काम किया राइट सती के अगेंस्ट जो उन्होंने काम किया हिज कॉन्स्टेंट जेलस एडवोकेसी ऑफ वॉट एवर इंटेंडेड टू एडवांस द ग्लोरी ऑफ मैन एंड ऑफ गॉड एंड सो लिव इन द ग्रेस ग्रेटफुल रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ हिज कंट्री मैन सो इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम ही वॉज एबल टू डू सो मच आई वुड से राइट सो फेमस कोट्स राइट एज आई सेट यू नो हिज इज जो फॉर्म है ठीक है ना सुपरस्टिशियस प्रैक्टिसेस हैं ये ट्रेडिशंस हैं राइट ह्यू राइट ये ट्रेडिशंस मे बी एक सर्टेन पीरियड के लिए सही थे बट अब नहीं है राइट 
सो बेसिकली हिंदू रिलीजन के जो प्रैक्टिस हैं उसका कोई स्पिरिट से कोई रिलेशन नहीं है सो बेसिकली इन समेट की वेद पढ़ो उपनिषद पढ़ो और खुद जानो कि हिंदुज्म क्या है राइट right? now uh, what questions have come uh, in the past years in uh, upsc so it says uh, the name of raja ramon roy stands foremost in the field of religious and social reforms elucidate uh, then the second half of the 19th century witnessed in india a strong wave of reformation in the sphere of religion society what part was rightly played by raja ramon roy keshav chandra sen and mg ranade so you can try any of these two uh, two questions you can write and uh, send it to us to our email right or even Uh, right uh, send it to our telegram group i think we'll correct it for you uh, what about these questions uh, an object type so consider the following statements you can pause the video and try them right so uh, the first obviously is reform movement and region so pratna sabha yes it's in maharashtra rs samaj is in Beng- punjab brahmo samaj in bengal so all of them d is correct and what about this one with reference to the social uh, cultural taking in india in the 19th century consider the following statements it was a result of the modern uh, influence of modern culture it was the realization of weakness in indian social structure so both of them are getting correct so um, i think uh, easy questions both of them i am sure bo- all of you got them correct uh, thank you for listening uh, do subscribe to our channel join our telegram group for the pdf of the video thank you so much for listening